Hey, 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 how's it going? Do it yourselfers. So pretty much exactly five years ago, I made a detailed video on how to paint calipers on this car. So today we're gonna do a five year update video to see how the paint has been holding up on these calipers and whether the procedures I use in that video are good enough procedures for painting calipers. But first, for those of you that missed that video five years ago, Here's a quick version of it and how I went about painting the calipers on this car. Alrighty, so the first step was to raise and support the car on jack stands and remove our wheels. Next, for easy access, we turn our wheel and then using a needle nose pliers and a rag, we pinch our brake line. We do this so that we don't lose all the brake fluid that's in the line. Next, we'll remove the bolt that's holding in our brake line, making sure we don't lose any washers. Then, using a screwdriver, we push the rotor against the piston that's inside the caliper, getting rid of any brake fluid that might be still in there. All right, next, we'll remove our upper and lower caliper bolts. Then remove our caliper. So next we remove the upper and lower bolts for our brake caliper mounting bracket and remove our caliper bracket. Next we need to remove our brake hardware including the sliding pin, the rubber boot, the metal bracket for our brake pads and the dust boot for our bleeder screw. So next we need to plug up the bolt hole that goes for our brake line. Make sure you get the correct size bolt for this so you don't screw up the threads. All right, so next we throw everything in a bucket and then using brake clean and a wire brush, we go to town and get all the big chunks of dirt and mud and crud off our brake caliper and the bracket as well. Just make sure you go easy around the boot for the piston. Before we start spraying, we need to get the caliper down to bare metal. Now normally your caliper might look like this, basically a little bit of rust on the caliper, but the caliper for this Elantra basically had a powder coating of some kind on it, so we need to, to sand it down to bare metal. Now if you have an air compressor, you can use a angle grinder with a coarse sanding disc or you can use a Dremel tool with a wire wheel at the end of it or you can use some sandpaper either 220 or 320 about would probably do. And of course since I had the tools I used the angle grinder in combination with the Dremel tool to get into every nook and cranny and get the caliper down to bare metal. Alright so here's a look at everything sanded down to bare metal and here's a look at Butthead five years ago. He's gonna get a five year update at the end of this video as well. All right, so once more, we give everything a brake clean bath and clean them off. Then we're gonna start masking some areas, including our bleeder screw, our piston, including the rubber boot that goes around there. And then on the bracket side, the, the holes for the sliding pins, since there's grease in there and you don't want that to get out and ruin your paint job. Next, you wanna find yourself some high temperature caliper paint. And you wanna shake the can for a full minute to mix it up thoroughly. And then it's a good idea to raise the caliper so that way you can get to every nook and cranny. And then you wanna spray two light coats at first. So here's the first coat that I'm putting on. And then here's the second coat that I'm putting on. Again, make sure you go light on the first two coats. And here's how it looks like after the first two coats. As you can see, it's pretty nice and shiny already. And then we're gonna put on our third and final coat. All right, so here's how it looks after the third and final coat. It's pretty shiny already, but next we're gonna have to wait 40 minutes before we put on our clear coat. Next we'll grab our can of clear coat, shake it for a full minute, and then it's even more important when spraying clear coat to put it on light. So make sure you put it on light, otherwise you might get runs, and that's gonna definitely ruin your paint job. And you wanna make sure you wait 10 minutes between each coat, and also make sure you shake the can before you use it. And here's how it looks like after the third and final clear coat. As you can see, it looks pretty nice and quite shiny. All right, but we're not done yet. We need to bake and cure the paint on these calipers before we can install them back on the car. So first, you wanna make sure you wait three hours, go to the oven, preheat it to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, get a cooking sheet, put the caliper and the brackets on there, put it in the oven, and set it to one hour. Next, once they cool down, you're home free. You can grab them, install them back on the car, and enjoy your new shiny calipers. All right, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look and see how they've held up. Holy moly. Yeah. All right, now joking aside, when you paint your calipers, the paint is not supposed to last the life of the car, obviously, but especially since this car was driven on dirt roads a lot and you know, five years ago was about 80,000 miles ago as well. Now looking through the wheel, the front caliper is worn more than the rear caliper for obvious reasons. And it's pretty much the uh, same story on that side. So I'm just gonna remove these two wheels on this side and give, give you guys a closer look. All right, just gonna quickly 
wipe these down just get the dirt off so you can actually see the condition of the paint all right so here's a closer look at the front caliper first as you can hopefully see we have some chipping up here we got some uh, chipping here these are from uh, dirt and rocks hitting this caliper i believe and not due to a poor paint job if you have a poor paint job usually what you'll see is uh, the paint flaking flaking in places but you know if you go next to all these chips even if my fingernail i can't really remove the rest of the paint so the adhesion is good but you know since it's been a long time 80,000 miles you know dirt and rocks hit this caliper especially this front one and they chip the paint off of it and here's a look at the front of the caliper i'm going to try to get you guys a shot without the shadow of the camera or me in it but yeah you can see more chips here there's some chips here these are all from uh, dirt and rocks hitting the caliper again the paint is not flaking off of this caliper. All right, so the rear caliper, as I mentioned, and as you can see, does look a lot better. There is some chipping of the paint up here. Again, this is due to rocks hitting the caliper. Uh, there's more tiny or smaller chipping of the paint on this uh, caliper bracket. But the rear of the caliper, as you can see, still looks pretty shiny even. So the clear coat is still even on this caliper. It hasn't worn off and you know it's in really you know you cover that up <laughs> cover this up it looks almost like uh you know it was just done recently it goes without saying you really have to look close at these calipers to see the the chips that are on these calipers with the wheel back on there you really can't tell there's uh, much wrong with these uh, painted calipers especially this rear one but yeah to me this is pretty good results considering this was done again five years ago eighty thousand miles ago a lot of those miles on again let's say a poorly maintained road so yeah, given that info, this is pretty good. Now, if you've done, if you've painted your calipers differently, use use different material or use a different procedure, and you had better results over a long period of time, do me a huge favor and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. I might uh, try that on my on the calipers for the Audi or a different car and see how it holds up here. But if you like this video and want to see more like it, do me a huge favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification and want to help my channel, please check out these videos on this side or click and watch any of my videos in the suggestion box. That will help out as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.